Another developing story tonight, one of the nation's biggest fuel pipelines forced to shut down after a cyber attack. The pipeline supplying 45 percent of the East Coast fuel products, including gasoline, diesel and home heating oil, spanning 5,500 miles. The president briefed this morning, the White House saying it's working to avoid disruption to supply and restore pipeline operations as quickly as possible. But questions remain about the potential impact on consumers and prices at the pump. Here's ABC's Ellen Lopez. Tonight, a ransomware attack hitting one of the largest fuel pipelines in the U.S. Colonial Pipeline forced to shut down its entire network. Certain systems proactively taken offline to contain the threat, halting all pipeline operations and affecting some of its IT systems. The massive U.S. pipeline runs 5,500 miles from Houston to New Jersey, 45% of all fuel to the East Coast shutting down after the cyber attack. It's unclear how long the pipelines will be off the grid. The Georgia-based company transports 2.5 million barrels a day of gasoline, diesel, fuel, and other products. Experts warning a prolonged delay could eventually impact consumers. It's crucial uh, to have this pipeline in service. If it drags on beyond, say, three or four days, we may start to see some supply challenges. This latest attack comes amid growing concerns about the nation's cybersecurity. Last December, a massive software breach at Texas-based SolarWinds was identified. Hackers reportedly gaining access to emails at U.S. government agencies. And in Florida, investigators say someone took control of the computer systems at a water treatment facility in an attempt to tamper with the water supply. It's really, really important that we heed these warnings, that these attacks are not going away. So it's imperative that if you're an owner or operator of critical infrastructure, that you invest in your cybersecurity. Officials on alert here. Elwin Lopez joins us from Atlanta. And Elwin, we're learning this ransomware attack will not just affect this one pipeline, but others as well. That's right. What the company says, the shutdown will also affect other pipelines traveling as far up as Maine. Now, the FBI says it is working closely on this. What? All right, Elwin, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.